Hello everybody, this is your teacher Dukene. Bonsoir tout le monde, ça c'est pour vous pour la Dukene. Je dis nous parlons pour nos belles, belles, belles bagailles qui s'allient. Donc nous parlons établir différence qui gagne entre le verbe to learn avec le verbe to borrow. Mais avant que nous démarrions, pas oublier que abonner à la chaîne là, don't forget you need to subscribe to the channel et partager vidéo. Donc c'est vraiment important le que vous partagez ou encouragez travail là, avancez. Pas oublier tout, nous avons un cours qui a commencé dans moi ça et vous même surtout fois que vous intéressé, vous avez écrit dans nos commentaires, vous avez gardé en bas votre numéro de téléphone nous dans commentaire ou entrer en contact avec nous directement pour capable yon dans participant dans cours ça. Donc nous venir après pause là, automatiquement nous venir nous pour expliquer la différence qui entre le verbe to lend avec le verbe to borrow. These words may be a little bit difficult for many of English learners. Deux mots sont capables pas être difficiles pour un peu de monde qui apprendre l'anglais. Why? Pour qui ça? Now we have the verb to lend and borrow. So let me explain. So when you lend, what you do? If you don't want to use the word to lend, you can say to give. Okay. And to borrow means to take. To take or to receive. Okay, let me start with the word land. And nous commencer avec le mot land. Qui l'a ka land? When can you land something? Nous pouvons regarder. Qui l'aime ka di land? Qui l'aime ka di bobo? This is Daniel. This is Charles. This car belongs to Daniel. Maybe Daniel has a car. Daniel has a phone. I mean, these objects belong to Daniel. But if Daniel has something and then Shaul or Daniel is going to give that object to Shaul, Shaul is going to receive that object from Daniel. We are going to use two verbs. Listen, Daniel has the phone, has the car, but Shaul doesn't. Shaul has an apartment, but he doesn't have a car. He wants to get Daniel's car to go out. If he doesn't have the car, he is going to Daniel so that Daniel can um, give the car to him. So what verb can he use? Listen. First of all, the verb to land, premier mot to land, what does it mean? To land means that to give something to someone for a short period of time by expecting to get it back. For example, shall Daniel is going to give Okay, to give, listen, to give the car to Shaul for a short period of time, maybe one day or uh, two or three hours. And after, Shaul will give it back. Okay, now what the verb is to land. To bow means that to get something from someone for a short period of time too, by expecting to get it back to. Mimja. Me, simzi danu gimashina. That is, we will use the formula to know how to use it very well. Daniel has the car. Shall doesn't. Who is Shall going to do? Shall going to demand. Shall, okay, you see. Shall going to pose Daniel question to demand Daniel. Est-ce qu'on a prêté machine? Non, mais pas les créoles. Don't forget that there is a difference between two verbs in French. Il y a deux différences entre deux verbes en français. Il y a prêté et il y a emprunté. Donc, nous ne pouvons pas entrer dans le français pour nous détailler ça. Nous ne pouvons pas penser comme ça. Nous allons regarder. How the question can be asked by Charles. Comment Charles a posé la question ça? Nous allons Can you lend me? Now you see the verb to lend. Can you lend me your car? Charles says to Daniel, Can you lend me your car? Est-ce que vous avez pris des machines? Très bien. When something belongs to you, you lend. Daniel lui-même, c'est un bagage appartient à vous et vous lend. Quand il là, Charles lui-même lui pose Daniel question pour lui dire, Daniel, est-ce qu'on a prêté machine là? Machine pour qui est-ce lié? Pour Daniel. Mais pendant pour Daniel, Charles a posé question lui demander, prêter machine là, il dit, can you lend me? C'est you parce que you ça a représenté Daniel. Puisque c'est Daniel qui peut prêter machine, qui peut prêter Charles machine, il dit Can you lend me 
Nous pas venir avec formule pour qu'on comprenne. OK? Can you lend me your car? Two ways Charles can ask the question. Charles can pose the question de façon attention, be careful. Charles can also say, can I? Can I borrow your car? You see the difference? Now, can you, you represent Daniel. Can I, I represent Charles. But if Charles doesn't have the car, shall say I, but after I, we have the verb borrow. But Daniel is the person who gets the car, who has the car, you say you. Listen, I just want to make you clear, guys, about these two sentences. Because you are Haitian, I want you to understand. Not only Haitian that are uh, following this channel, because we got many other nations. We have many other nations that have written and have written this channel. So, understand. Bawo avec land. Lek ou di land, c'est ou même qui fait action. Tenez bien. Mais lek ou di bawo, c'est le monde qui fait action. Tenez bien. Si Charles dit, can I bawo? You can maybe be in your, in your garage. Or maybe somewhere else. And Charles says to Daniel, if Daniel can lend him. Maintenant, ça, ce qu'il dit, ça, qu'il y a là, il dit, can I bawo? C'est parce que machine dans quelque part, c'est pas Daniel qui pourra longer machine dans Bali. Il m'a dit, est-ce qu'il y a permission? Est-ce que Daniel a la permission pour le prendre machine pour le partir? Mais qu'il y a, si, da, si il dit Daniel, can you lend me your car? Daniel a construit machine. Et puis, il dit, Daniel dit, Daniel, can you lend me your car? Il dit, il dit, est-ce qu'on peut prendre machine pour aller? Laisse ça, Daniel a dit, ok, I'll lend you the car. I'll lend you the car. Je prends ta machine. Mais c'est clair. Mais si la machine n'a quelque part, il dit, Can I borrow your car? La machine n'a là, et puis il a parlé à Daniel, il dit, Je ne peux pas machine moi. Et puis, on a logé clair à Bali. Si simple, le bagage là pour, ok, c'est lend, ou même ou lend mon nom. Par exemple là, si la machine n'a pour moi, il dit, Ok, I'll lend the car to you. And you borrow. You borrow. On garde bien. Qui l'on a utilisé? Where can I use the word land? We need to have the subject plus land plus object pronoun plus object. That is bien. Subject plus land plus object pronoun plus object. Daniel, 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 lands, Daniel prete, okay? Lands shall is car. Daniel subject, lands, the verb to land, the third person of singular, the past is lent, okay, for the past. Daniel lands shall, object pronoun, Daniel lands shall is car. Daniel prete shall machine linea, parce que ça c'est objet. But, we can use subject plus land plus Object plus two plus someone. For example, instead of saying Daniel Lane shall is car, we are going to use is car the object before. Listen, don't forget we need to use two. For example, Daniel Lane's subject verb, subject verb, subject verb, but now. We don't have object pronoun. We have object. Where is the object? Is car. Is the object. Daniel Lynch is car to Charles. Daniel Lynch is car to, to Charles. Okay? Then we can say, for example, if you delete this and replace it by the word M-E, me, you can say Daniel Lynch is car to me. Or Daniel Lynch me his car. Okay, now let's go for the word to borrow. To borrow, Anale. Don't forget to borrow means to take when you receive something. But a shawl is going to receive the car or the phone from Daniel. Listen, but now we have subject or shawl. It's not Daniel anymore. Shawl, borrow, shawl borrows this one. Never make this mistake. After the verb borrow, you use object. No. 
don't use object pronoun after vowel. For example, don't say or never say, shall borrows me this one. No, don't use object. Shall borrows this phone, not me. Shall borrows this phone. Now, this is not a formula. So, not formula. Nous pas seulement gain sujet plus bawo plus object. Mais qu'on a nous gain sujet plus bawo plus object plus form. OK? Plus form et puis someone. On regarde bien. Shall borrows this phone, the object from Daniel, the person who owns the object. Est-ce que moi ça nous dit hein? Mon qui gagne objet, me dit c'est Daniel. Mdi shall borrows this phone from Daniel. And we got the uncle. No di to lend and to borrow. To lend means to give. For example, this is for me, and Daniel wants that. I say, okay, I lend you this. I lend you this. Okay? I lend you this. Mdi, I lend, I lend you this. Let's go some zia. You are the object pronoun. I lend you this. Or I lend this to you. Because it's for me. If someone needs it, this person can say, Can I borrow this from you? Est-ce que je ça? Don't forget today, uh, we talk about the verb to lend and the verb to borrow. When you lend something, you give it. When you borrow something, you take it or you receive it from someone else. Est-ce que m'ka prêter ventilateur ça? If the object is not for me, I cannot say, can I lend you? Or can I lend me? Pas ka di ça. M'din ka di, can I borrow? Est-ce que m'ki permission pour m'prêter ça? Okay? M'ou ka di, but you can say, can you lend me the phone? Can you lend me the phone? Okay. Pablie Jodia, mes amis, nous parlons de the verb to lend and the verb to borrow. If you don't subscribe yet to this channel, please do it right now because we have a lot of upcoming videos. We don't want you guys to miss these videos. Mon Pablie, que vous ratez vidéos, ça y est. Please subscribe. If you want to improve your English speaking skills, don't forget to. Dial our telephone numbers or write in the comment section below to get in touch with us so that we can help you out. It was a pleasure. It is your teacher, Duke Kene. And see you next for another video.